sold 100,000. That's pretty different. What, to, what's, uh, will you bring the average age of the group down? Because you're the baby, obviously. Yeah, I am. I bring it down to about 60, I think. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you? I'm only 28. 28. You're a ringer, aren't you? Well, uh, it'd be rude to ask who's the eldest, but who is and what age? Well, I'll tell you a story, yeah, Mike. Yeah, just tell me. Here's the eldest, the young Sheila in the front. Of you. <laughs> Fancy her, too. She looks all right to me, too. She scrubs up well, doesn't she? She's good. For, uh, for 72 next week. 72 next week. <laughs> no, it's pretty good going. And uh, you're going to play the drums, are you? Well, I've only got out and play the present time. Oh, have you? What can we do I've about that? I've run short of a pedal. You ever been like that? <laughs> <laughs> Several times, yeah. <laughs> so, Greg and Barry, do you want to learn... Uh, what are we missing? Cymbal stand. A cymbal stand, right, OK. Yeah, uh, well, we'll just get that down and... Uh, short of a pedal. What, what are you going to play for us today? Uh, three beautiful smart numbers. <laughs> called what? Goodbye, Goodbye, Tipperary. Goodbye Tipperary. Oh, yeah. What's the other one? Riddle fan. Riddle fan. Glad you like the way they all know what they're going to play. <laughs> What's that? This is you, yes. Well, I don't mind if you all play different things, but you'll start and finish together, will you? That makes sense. <laughs> well, we've done that plenty of times. Okay, mate. Good. Right. Well, what should I do with this? And... Put it over there. Right. We've got no pedal on bugger. <laughs> <laughs> That's a technical expression, folks. Uh, bugger means uh, things aren't working. It's a drummer's expression. You've got a pedal? You've got a pedal coming. <laughs> Let's get into this. Oh, okay. On the way down, fell yeah. out over the bridge, coming over the bridge. Did it? Right. Do you like Sydney? Oh, I don't know. I've been here long enough yet. Been up the cross? <laughs> yes. Have you been up the cross? We've dropped there for the night. Did you? For three or four nights. Did yeah. you go for a walk past the Alamein Falcons? Yes. But I was a bit sad. I'm a bit old. <laughs> you might win yourself a heart today. Ladies and gentlemen, the old timers. Ladies and gentlemen, did you enjoy them on today's show? At the start of this year, retired farmer and violinist Lionel Collison was 79. Retired jack-of-all-trades and drummer Graham Grummy Ross was 74. His wife, Elma, pianist and music teacher, was 72. Farmer and strove viol player Jack Condon was in his 71st year. Group manager and farmer Lindsay Holt, the father of the old-timers, was 61. His brother and banjo player Trevor was 57. Relative youngster Peter Ellis, a teacher, master of ceremonies and concertina exponent, was 37. And the baby of the group, squeeze box player and retired station master Ian Johnson, was nudging 29. Others like Glenda Hunter, Calvert Hargraves and Don Topley fill in when somebody else isn't available. Nobody typifies the old-timers' story more than Daisy Sutton. The almost 79-year-old violinist has now retired from the group, but she was a foundation member, and this girl from the bush discovered a new world when the old-timers took to the road.
days he was, I would think, born at a little place called Wheeler, which was about 15 miles from Wedderburn. She, she lived all her life there. Uh, probably came into Wedderburn about once a month to have a, a lesson on the violin. Uh, in fact, Wedderburn was the only town she'd ever visited, apart from once she went to Bendigo to, uh, to see the doctor, as she said. Lindsay threw me into it head first. Yes, I didn't know what was going to happen when this turned up. It was my music teacher's old violin. I learned for oh, nearly two years, I think. Down here in Guy Bonnie Mills, it was a hotel then, de-licensed, I think. And it started from there. Now, at the age of 72, she would, she would have been then, to go, say, we went to Melbourne on uh, with Bill Collins and uh, Mary Hardy and did the Penthouse Club. And uh, I remember Daisy was done up in a little bonnet and she really looked apart and came over well on television. But at that age, what a wonderful experience it was. And a month later, we we're uh, jetting about uh, Tasmania and so forth and she, she might have seen an aeroplane, but certainly only in the air. She would have never even seen one on the ground before that. I enjoyed it. How you classify the type of music that you played? Oh, it's traditional old-time music. We claim that we're the only genuine old-time acoustic band in Australia. What instruments are in your orchestra? Uh, piano, drums, banjo, two violins, concertina, tin whistle, mouth organ and uh, button accordion. How would you compare your music to the music of today? Oh, it's more genuine. We play the genuine traditional old-time music. Can you elaborate on that? Well, we claim that we're the only genuine acoustic old-time band in Australia. And uh, it's real toe-tapping music. You know, and in, in our day, if you picked a girl up on the dance floor, you held her pretty close. And it was very sort of romantic. <laughs> Today, what do they do? You, they miles apart. When you don't really know who your partner is. So you think it was a, a, a better way of getting to know somebody? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. More cuddly music. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy, eh? Daisy! Daisy. Why not Daisy? Perfect for Daisy. Right, yeah, Daisy. Okay, here we go. Come on. 